After analyzing a surge file, select a pump with a check valve. Click on the check valve animation feature button within the reports tab. The check valve animation window shows user input data on the left and simulation output data in a dashboard-like area on the right. Pump speed data is shown as a vector arrow on the pump itself with a numerical readout and graphically. Pump flow data is shown in the graph and with vector arrows for both the inlet and outlet flow. The terms inlet and outlet are used synonymously with suction and discharge. Pump pressure is shown in a graph with two traces, one for the suction pressure and one for the discharge pressure. Inlet and outlet pressures are also shown numerically in the dashboard area. Inlet and outlet pressures are also displayed using needle gauges, which show subatmospheric pressure in a red zone. The depiction of the water in the inlet and outlet pipes changes to show three pressure divisions. Positive pressure water is shown as a medium blue. Water below atmospheric pressure is shown as a medium blue with white bubbles. And cavitating water is shown as white with blue bubbles. I'm using the term water, but users can define a different incompressible fluid as needed. The check valve's position is displayed pictorially. Here we see a wafer type check valve which is fully open. The check valve's position is also displayed within the graph and numerically. Ratios are defined as 1.0 being fully open and 0.0, .0 being fully closed. We can play the animation and see the progress slider at the top of the screen. And we also see vertical progress bars on each graph, which display the timestamp of the simulation. At this time in the simulation, we can see the chuck valve closes, but doesn't stay closed. Instead, it oscillates in what is known as check valve chatter. Check valve chatter can cause both premature wear on the valve and possibly unacceptable swings in system pressures. Notice the rotors of the pump spin more quickly or more slowly depending on pump speed. The inlet and outlet flow arrows also change size and direction. The depiction of the water in the inlet and outlet pipes changes to show positive pressure, negative pressure, or cavitation pressure. Towards the end of the simulation, the pump goes into reverse rotation. Notice the rotation arrow has reversed direction and the pump speed numerical display shows a negative value. We can drag the progress slider to freeze the simulation at any point. The animation can be exported as a snapshot image 
or as a full animation. We can customize the appearance of the interface. We can change the background color, which I won't show in this video, and change the display range for the inlet and outlet pressure gauges. We can change the range of the flow vector arrows that are displayed in the inlet and outlet pipes. We can change the cavitation pressure. We can also change the color of the pressure gauge needles so they turn red when the water is below atmospheric pressure. We can see the new color coding for the needles if we use the slider to drag the animation frame to a time when negative pressure occurs. We can turn off the pump speed arrow and the pump rotor animation. Dragging the slider now shows that these features are no longer displayed on the pump diagram. We can turn off the legend that shows the various liquid states in the inlet and outlet pipes. Last, we can change the check valve type. Currently, we are showing a wafer type check valve. Let's change this to an axial check valve. We'll drag the animation slider to show the action of the valve. And now for a swing type check valve. 